welcome back guys to a new Sea of Thieves video. Today I'm going to be covering the brand new update that did go live today, version 1.0.6. I'm hoping this is going to be the last update until the first new, you could say DLC, The Hungering Deep, which is going to be completely free, which is coming this month in May. So hopefully we'll find out a release date for that soon and I'll be covering lots of gameplay on that once that is released. But apart from that, let's get straight into the video, and if you do enjoy it and you get all the news you need to know, drop a like on today's video and subscribe if you are new to the channel, as we're trying to push for that big 100,000 subscribers. But anyway, let's get straight into the video with the new patch notes. So as you can see there, um, Ahoy Pirates, we've read your feedback um, in the customization mega threads and our other parts of the community about the limited variety of available options to dress and customize your pirate. This, week, this week's patch delivers the first wave of cosmetics into the shops um, into the form of expanded sets of Admiral, uh, Blige, Rat, Sea Dog and Sovereign. So that's the basically the new, um, uh, that's the obviously the new cosmetics that have been added into the uh, shop. Alongside the new cosmetic variations, you'll find the shop stock that varies from outpost to outpost depending on your region you're in. Don't worry if you um, if you can pick up your new Blige Rat gear in all regions, but you'll have to head to the Ancient Isles to pick up your new set. So this is basically what it's going to be, but now we're going to be going through the other information about what is in this whole update as well as the cosmetics. So if you are on the Xbox One, then as you can see on both of them, it's the same 1.36 gigabytes as it was last time. And on Windows, it is 1.25 gigabytes, so pretty small again. Um, and and that's, I'd say that's pretty good because um, when The Hungry Deep comes out, it's probably going to be much bigger. So it's good that we're seeing like smaller updates building up to that. So as you can see, customization verity. So regional stock. Shopkeepers in different regions now only stock certain item sets due to some missed, uh, mistimed deliveries. Strike a pose. We've expanded our clothing range. As you can see already, I've re uh, I read the, uh, that out earlier. So this is the new stuff in the shop. Ship shape. Multiple sets of ship cosmetics have been added to the shipwright stock. Now you can purchase an equipped Grand Admiral, um, Castaway Blige Rat, Ruff, Ruff, Ruffian Sea Dog, and the Imperial Sovereign. So ship cos 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 customization sets. Really cannot talk today. I'm sorry, guys. But um, that's basically to do with the ship. And oh, shiny. Visit the weapon shops at many outposts to find stocks of the Grand Admiral. Um, basically the same as before. A fancy new weapon style. We're sure one of these will take your fancy. So scrolling down, as you can see right here, this is the launch crew Eye of Reach. So in celebration of, um, you know, of being at Sea of Thieves for a month, We've added a special weapon to the store. This limited edition item will only be available for two weeks, so grab it while you kill, uh, still can at a very reasonable price of one gold. So make sure to be able to, uh, to go into the shop and get this because it literally is only one gold. Looks pretty awesome to be honest. Really looking forward to going out and getting this today when I jump on some Sea of Thieves. Pretty awesome, so you'll be able to get this for up to two weeks until it's um, taken out of the game. So, updates to a version 1.0.6, tutorial, uh, tutorial in vulnerability. Players are no longer invulnerable during parts of the tutorial when first launching the game. This is obviously all of this stuff has been fixed. Skeleton's accuracy. When shooting cannons from the island at long distances, skeleton accuracy has been reduced. We read your feedback that it was a little, <laughs> a little extreme skelly OP. I agree. Way too overpowered skeletons on Sea of Thieves. They can shoot and hit you from miles away, like so far away, and also their guns as well, not just the cannons. Merchant Voyages. It is no longer possible to force mer Merchant Voyages to request delivery to a specific outpost. Now you have to earn your cheddar. Sneaky Climbing. The bell on the small ship has been moved on the other side of the ladder to avoid accidental ringing. We're redecorating with the ammo crate and bell moved. What are we moving next? 
finally, so many times that I try and climb the ladder and you ring the bell. And there's some, you know, if you say when I ring the bell, this could be because someone else is coming near. And then you just ring the bell by accident. Everyone's going to start panicking and thinking, what's going on? Is there someone else coming in on us? No, it is literally just because I've rang it by accident. But luckily, that is the change. And yeah, sneaky climbing, I suppose. If you're trying to climb up someone's, um, you know, climb up basically without anyone knowing you're there. So, some fixed issues that have come with this new update for Sea of Thieves. So, this is PC only. Rebinding to the F key will no longer softlock the, ra uh, the radial, so that's now sorted. Stow and dis dis disengage can now be rebound onto the same button on the controller. Incorrect company icons will no longer be displayed for a split second if trying to get reputation from two different trading companies. Joining a dead player whose ship is parked at an active skeleton fort will no longer prevent the player joining the radials from being opened. Recent players, the recent player list will no longer be delayed in updating players from other crews. Hunter of the Curse crews and Hunter of the Fort Skulls commendations now track. Um, voyage inventory message is now translated when there are no voyages in the inventory. Loot items can no longer be dropped behind the captain's table on a small ship when trying to place them on the table. Ship ropes now cast shadows on the deck. Musical instruments can now be used immediately after interacting with parts of the ship. This is PC only. Half V-Sync option now works as intended. Resolved an issue which, players could, uh, which could cause players to fail to migrate and remain on low population servers. That's a pretty awesome one there. I've seen that happen to me quite a lot. Now that was all the fixed issues within the game. And now we're now moving on to uh, performance increases or performance improvements. And I'm looking... Um, this looks pretty awesome. There's quite a few this time. Repetitive actions from players will no longer impact the network stability for other players. Frame rate lock option is no longer disabled when V-Sync is enabled. Significant, significant reduce, uh, re reduction, sorry about that guys, in time taken to return from the Ferry of the Damned. I think that's pretty awesome there. It does take quite a while and you want to get straight back into action. I don't feel like you should go straight back into action as soon as you've been killed. But I definitely feel like... Um, you know, I definitely feel like it does take much longer than it needs to. Image, um, images in all chests now load gracefully when browsing. And again, as we know, in every single update, multiple server crash fixes. And they're saying as time goes on, there's still going to be more improvements and optimizations for the game. But anyway, that is all the performance improvements that have come for the Sea of Thieves update. We're now moving on to known issues. These are the things that have been in the game for a while. There's some that have been around for a long time. And hopefully we won't ever see as many of them as there has been um, in the past. But then we're now down to three, which is great. So some players cannot see their downloadable content in game. This is still a problem ongoing, guys. If you're still having this problem, there is a way. Once you redeem a code, here is a support article that shows you where to find your items in game. If you still cannot find your items, raise a support ticket to log the issue. And they should probably end up giving it to you. Players may experience details of their pirates such as hair colour and scars looking different from their initial selection. This once again has been in since the start. They're hoping that they, I think they've made like quite big progress on this one. So hopefully that in the next few updates when the Hungering Deep gets closer, there should be that sorted. And players are experiencing delayed achievements and commendations from in-game actions. Again, this has been sorted out a little bit, but still happening. Um, they've definitely made improvements on this, as many of you guys would have noticed. But it is still a known issue within the game. But that is all of the stuff within version 1.0.6, guys. Really looking forward to going and get myself this new Eye of Reach um, cosmetic, only for one gold as well, which is crazy. Um, so it's going to be very, very exciting. Hopefully, guys, we'll be hearing some information on the Hungering Deep very soon, as you can see, May. And then we've got some big weekly events coming up into the summer. We've got loads more to come. But the first big one should be any time this month. And as I, as you guys know, if you want to keep up to date on seeing all of the gameplay of the Hungering Deep, all the news of when it's coming and everything like that, then all you have to do is subscribe and leave a like on the video and turn on notifications because any time I upload a video, you will be notified. And if it's a video you want to watch, you can then just scroll and click on the video and you're straight on it instantly without having to look onto my channel. 
But anyway, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did get all the news, as I said, drop a like, subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitter if you like to. Link will be in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.